don't see very many cooling towers around here, but this is one. Cooling tower system. Looks super old. It's only 2008. Like I said I don't see very many of them. I don't work on any. My company doesn't work on them, but looks like this thing needs some serious cleaning service. Uh, no cool call. It's like 90 degrees in the apartment. We're working on a Goodman. It's a CK18-1B. Uh, came out, compressor was running, no fan operation. As you can see this ground wire. Looks like the motor's been changed very recently. And uh, the motor's so hot, the actual top burned my hands touching it. But I was looking around and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it down there, but I'll pop the top so you can take a better look on what uh, what's the cause of this issue. I'm gonna go ahead and change this motor. After looking at it, this plug is uh, broken. That terminal right there. Also this purple wire. The wire is actually back here. That's just the uh, insulation. It's pulled it real tight and uh, pulled the wire out. I could cut it off and wire nut it and all that good stuff, but I'll be able to file warranty on this newer motor, so I'm just going to change it. And we're going to extend the wires down the, uh, the right way back into the cabinet instead of splicing them under the fan. So we'll take care of that and uh, let the compressor cool down a bit. and. Uh, We'll see what happens. New motor's in place, unit's up and running. Compressor's a little bit more happy than it was before. Uh, strapped up everything where you can reverse the rotation of the motor. Strapped up the wires. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but they're out of the way. There's no wire nuts on the inside anymore. I use the wires that came with the motor, brought them up to where they need to go, run common, fan, and uh, zip tied those off so there's no junctions anywhere, it goes straight from the motor to the to where it needs to go. And, uh, throw the gauges on here real quick, make sure that's good, and I'm out of here. Figured I'd show the pressures of this system screaming right now. 93 in this apartment it's on the third floor R22 of course good with a straight XC got a piston metering device 103 323 it's uh, screaming right now only 2 degrees of superheat 22 sub cooler coil and filter are clean so superheat so low because it's overcharged that's why you got almost 22 degrees of sub cooler let it run for another five minutes or so and uh, make sure everything's leveled out. Probably going to end up taking a little bit of Freon out of it. Get that sub cooling closer to like 12, something, something like that. The press will be a lot more happy. I figured I'd show those extreme pressures. 